I started my NLP journey last May. Um, my company paid for, kindly, paid for a business NLP course to help and facilitate some of the coaching that I was doing. Um, I did that in London with a different provider to what I've done before. The course was really good, had a lot of benefit from it and took that back into work, but I started to think more, a bit more, what I wanted to do outside. Um, I've been in my job for quite a long time and the aim is to not stay in the job I'm in and obviously to have my own business. Um, and then I did another course, sports, NLP course with another provider, which was quite interesting. Um, and then my next bit was I wanted to do the NLP coach, but I wanted to do it with a local provider. Um, I found with the providers that I'd done it with previously, because they were London based, I was making no connections and I wasn't able to get any help. So I found that Laura did courses here. So I enrolled on Laura's coach and timeline therapy course, which was amazing. Um, timeline therapy completely changed everything for me. Um, I suddenly knew what I wanted to do. Um, I have traditionally loved sports. I suppose there's probably a period of about 10 years when life got in the way of me not doing sport. And I'd had a recent return to CrossFit and was really enjoying CrossFit. After I'd done timeline therapy, it was like I just knew where I wanted to take the NLP and what I wanted to do with it. Because um, I'm already in a job, I need to obviously try to start soft selling my business, I guess. So I asked the guys at what we call the box in CrossFit, that's the gym, um, if they would mind if I came in and did um, an NLP seminar. And I did an NLP seminar and I got a few clients to practice on, which is really quite exciting. After I'd done that, I kind of realised that I wasn't sure about how to actually sell NLP within a business. So um, Laura also does a sales course, which I enrolled on. And then I suddenly realised what I could do and what I was doing wrong. So in fact, I had gone on the right lines of doing the seminar and trying to attract people. My biggest mistake was things like how I named the seminar. I named it NLP. Does anybody know what NLP is? No. So the next seminar that I've written is going to be awesome. It's all about mindset. It's all about working through the workouts. It's focused exactly on what advantages and benefits they're going to get. So the sales course for me was just has made things really, really easy. Um, I have also now designed a, a competitor's program for CrossFit. So I have some more people that are kind of putting through it. So I've got four people that are going through my competitors program at the moment. I also competed in a competition myself in March. Um, and ironically, one of the people that was in the competition with me, I'd done timeline therapy on. We were definitely the cool cats in the competition. No worries, no nerves. We just got on and did it. Um, quite recently, I had three girls that came to me, just started on the competitors program. Each of them have only done one session with me. We did some small techniques, peripheral vision, anchoring, talked about quieting their mind. They all entered a competition last Saturday and the two teams both came within the top 10 for the girls. I hope that my techniques took some hand to doing that. They are all physically more than capable. Um, the nicest thing is one of the girls sent me a photo and I said, what's this a photo of? And she said, this is me doing peripheral vision that you taught me. She was calming herself down. So it was absolutely awesome. And then I take it back into my own um, CrossFit experience as well. The NLP, the unconscious mind, tricking the unconscious mind. And I guess my most recent experience a couple of Saturdays ago just proves that the unconscious mind is amazing. We were doing partner deadlifts. There's two of us. We had to lift 105, 110 kilos together. So half of that, you work out, is 55 kilos. That's not so heavy. At the end, I said to the girl, do you know what, we've been lifting that. We did a lot of reps. And I said, that's, my, that's more than my PB. She said, you can't lift that. I said, I can. And I walked straight up to the bar, picked it up and put it back down. Wow. Oh my God. I fell in that listening to everything. Uh, it, you do you know what is the most amazing thing? And she I, said, You haven't showed, told anyone you were going to do that. I said, No, because now I've done it. But oh, it's brilliant. It's just, I love it so much. In, in, in CrossFit and sport, it just, it's the most amazing technique. And it's all about mindset. People in that box are f physically capable of doing it. I just watch every day as people's minds go down. I did a like to dislike on, oh no, other way around, dislike to like on a movement that this girl hates. And the other day it came up on the Tuesday and I saw it on the board and I saw her face. And I was like, Abby, are you going to be all right? She's like, I'm going to be fine. Text her after, I was like, how was it? She was like, it's fine. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, I love it. Love the unconscious mind. So on the NLP sales course, um, what was really important for me is sort of understanding the right mindset. Um, I actually work in sales, but I probably don't do 100% sales role every day. And I always say that I'm not a sales person. Um, what Laura's sales course did was to help me get in the right mindset. So I really knew how to feel when I was starting to sell and, and feel comfortable about it. And 
a lot of people feel embarrassed selling. You know, it is a difficult and challenging part, but I think also she taught me to know what your product is, um, under, really understanding that product so that you're actually confident in selling. And actually it isn't selling, it's just talking about something you're totally passionate about. Um, some of the other techniques, there was a lot of practice um, in terms of the tools I'd already been taught. So I was able to access my knowledge from previous courses, but really take that into the sales environment. And the other great thing for me as well, I work in a sales environment, so I've started to use some of the techniques um, in sort of training one-to-one, -one, lunch and learns in my current company as well, which has been really helpful. So the biggest change for me was actually timeline therapy. Um, I did my timeline therapy on Laura's course. and. Um, I did the timeline therapy, came out of timeline therapy, was so chilled. Um, unfortunately, had to go into a bit of an incident because my son had been rushed to hospital. Um, I got to the hospital. My husband said to me, what's the matter with you? You're very calm and not stressed. Handled the situation amazingly. Normally, I was the most stressed person all the time. My job stressed me out. Life stressed me out. I was running around doing different things. My timeline therapy just made me the most laid back person ever. My husband always moans now that, you know, you used to be the organized person, now you don't really care. I was like, I'm not that I don't care, it's just my life and my outlook from NLP and coming on Laura's courses has just changed. It's kind of a don't sweat the small stuff, which is why I really want to go on and do, and I am going on to do my master prac in October. Um, there's a lot of stuff on there that I really want to dig further into from a personal perspective, as well as obviously being able to help build my own business. I think the one thing I will say about Laura's courses, you know, a lot of people look around for therapists and self-help. You can pay all of that money, but I think it's so much more valuable to go on a course, spend the money with Laura, and actually learn something you can use in everyday life.